The attack on Peketuni in the coastal town of Lamu was clinical and ruthless, leaving behind the village in mourning and the government under pressure to show results. It is now clear that intelligence on this attack was availed to security officers in Peketoni. Unfortunately, the officers did not act accordingly. Now, Kenyan police say they have arrested several suspects after repeated attacks in Peketoni left at least 60 people dead and several others injured. Many are still missing. The Inspector General of the Kenyan Police, David Kimayo, announced on his Twitter account the arrest of a suspect, Ishmael Omondi, accused of allegedly operating a fake social account, purporting to be Al-Shabaab, so as to claim responsibility for the Impeketoni attack. Also in custody is Ahmed Abdallah, the owner and driver of the car suspected to have been used by the gunmen to carry out the attack. The Kenyan police chief also said that the officer in charge of the Impeketoni police station, Aden Ali, has been dismissed from his duties with immediate effect and will be charged in court. The latest development on the Mpeketoni attack comes just a day after President Uhuru Kenyatta refuted that the attacks were not linked to the Al-Shabaab, but rather politically motivated. This, therefore, was not an Al-Shabaab terrorist attack. Evidence indicates that local political networks were involved in the planning and execution of the heinous crime. The agony still remains loud in Peketuni as villagers mourn their loved ones. Rachel is a newly widowed after her husband was killed in the attack. Residents have already started leaving their homes to an open ground that will be heavily guarded by the Kenyan security forces. To these women and children, there is no time to waste as the night draws near. The old and young, all hoping that this is only a terrible dream. This is the second worst terror-related attack since September when at least 70 people were killed in the attack on Nairobi's Westgate shopping mall. Remain unknown and at large. And for many survivors of the Peketoni repeat attacks, it is a life of loss and tragedy. Now, even as investigations continue into the identity of gunmen who shot as many as 60 continue, the residents of the village in the coastal town of Lamu are still trying to pick up the pieces. Today marks three days since gunmen attacked in Peketoni town and so far it's a cocktail of emotions and activities. Some residents have packed their bags and are leaving town. Others say they have known this to be their only home and will remain here and rebuild their lives. But the most consistent scenes are those of families sitting down for burial arrangements and those of families picking up their dead for burial at the local hospital's mortuary. Paul Maina has lived in Peketoni for many years. This building has housed him and 30 other families. But today, not a single person is here. Everyone has fled into the forest where Maina has been hiding since Sunday night. He came back today to pick his vital belongings and leave town. But before he bids goodbye to a town he has lived to love and watch as it expanded, he shows us a path leading to where he has been hiding for the last three nights. Sasa labda nirudi Nairobi ama nirudi pitikuwa tu nyumbani nyeri, nikatulia sababu hata wale wako nyumbani bado wanalia wake wana vile janga hili vile lilivyo, wanaulizana maswali mtoto yetu yuko api. Marina will join these people at the bus station. They are waiting for transport to leave town. They tell us they are going somewhere safe, where exactly many aren't sure. I told you that I was going to go to the house. I was going to go to the house. Nobody was anticipating. So even if it's come, we don't know when again it will strike. Some small percentage of normalcy is, however, slowly setting in at the town center. Today, several businesses were opened thanks to the beefed up security. At least security officers can be seen around town.
But as the rest of the community makes a step to whatever direction they have chosen, life is still at a standstill at Mpeketoni District Hospital. The smell of death still strong. With the mortuary packed to capacity, many of the bodies have been placed outside in a tent. From this tent, families pick their dead for burial. The family of Peter Ngugi takes their son Francis Kamandi home for burial. One out, more than 40 others still remain. Masi Juma, NTV, Mpeketoni, Lamu County.